Roger Rabbit has to be one of my favorite characters of all time. It's had a big impact on my career. Um, and it obviously it's a mix of live action and animation. So it's got some special um, things about it that are different than the, the, the run of the mill cartoons that we see. So this video is all about how I would start a project like 3D modeling something like Roger. And what I wanted to do is just start off with how I would do my references. And I don't often just take a reference. I'll often draw it like this rather than just taking um, something off the internet. So let's take a look at the first part, which would be all about collecting in the reference and drawing your own. So here's a reference, uh, this is Procreate, and here's a reference that I've just pulled from the internet. And this is my drawing, so why not just use this? Why not just take this image and just use it as a reference? Well, you can. That's obviously the quickest way to do it, um, is to basically just take anything that you want as, as a reference from a Google search or you know from literature if you've got it, and then just, just work like that from there. But what I like to do is understand what I'm going to make. So before I even start something, um, in a modeling, in a 3D modeling way or a sculpting way, what I'll often do is understand it by drawing it and trying to work out all of the primary shapes. So let me just show you, I sketch first of all, and then I'll eventually ink. So let me just talk you through what this looks like from a sketch point of view, and then we'll cover off, of, we'll make some notes on it. So let's dive over and have a look at the time lapse of the sketch. Okay, so what you can see there is just um, a layer in Procreate, and it's just a blue line layer, so a blue pencil. It's you know, it's 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 from history. We we, we basically um, quite often we will draw in blue pencil just because when I was taught, blue pencil was great for animation. You you know, photocopiers wouldn't see it and things like that. And I literally block out what I can see, but again, the same as I will do it in three D. I'm working it out in three D space on a two D drawing. So I'm actually working out what is the head made of what are the primary shapes that the head's made of what what are, you know what what is the arm is it a tube is it a plate is it a, is it a blade is it, you know as in a, a long flat blade something like that or or is it fully tubular like this arm is and then i'll just work my way through each part of the body from the reference i'll be looking at the reference all the time and i'll just sketch in very 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 quickly the the shapes that i want to try and understand once I've got the overall layout and the scale right, and I've got a good idea, then I'll probably do something like 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 this now, which is a basic draw over, and I'm just inking it, just to give it some, um, like you know, basically to to block it out a little bit. But what I'm really looking for is where these lines overlap each other, because that's telling you what is 3D. So where a line goes in front of a line, so here. Is a good example here is a great example it really shows you the flow of the character so by drawing it and unpicking it by by drawing it you can really start to understand the shapes and that's going to really come into into a play once we get into 3d and if you're bearing in mind that how, how a lot of these line illustrations are constructed or sketches are, are, are constructed is, artists will do what's called drawing through. So they'll draw a sweeping line that goes right the way through. And you can see in, in Roger's body here, there's a line that follows through, a line of action or drawing through. If you listen to people like Aaron Blaze, he teaches this method. Um, and there's, you know, there's strong lines of action with his hands being flung out. And then a kink at the end where his hand go, goes off, you know, at a different angle. And a nice you know, a nice weight over to this side. Well, if you just start modelling and you don't understand this, then, then, then this might be missed. So that's what I'm looking for is to understand, um, you know, how this image is constructed. This particular one, I have just flood fi filled everything. When I'm drawing, what I just so that you know, what I generally do is do flats, which is a flat, um, what they call a local colour. Uh, and then what I'll do is I'll, I'll I'll just then do the shading on top of that. But we're not really talking about that in, in this image. What we're talking about is this next bit, which is once I've worked it out like that or done a, done a drawing to understand the character, then I'll start thinking about what I'm going to make. And here you can see just in this first part of the sketch, I'm just thinking of the primary shape. So already I've defined the hand, which is a couple of cylinders, a cube and a few more cylinders. And I've already got an idea of what I'm going to use. The head is simply basically just spheres. Uh, apart from this jaw, which is a bit of a box like this, 
everything else is just spheres um, in there. So the eyes, the cheeks, the nose, the, the muzzle part, uh, and the actual head itself all pulled together as uh, you know from from just drawing circles as fast as I can, and you can see that you know I'm working out here how the mouth might be cut out of a cube. I've worked out here how the um, in fact let's just go back there a little bit. We can show it there. I'll show it a little bit more detail in a minute, but I've worked out here that the the dicky bow is just going to be cut out of a flat plate. The ears are possibly going to be tubes. I know I'm going to do that differently, but on here I drew it as tubes. And then again, just tube for the body and then a couple of cylinders for the feet. So I've already, even in just a few minutes of, of playing with this, I've got a really good idea of how this character is going to come together um, from those primary shapes. So let's have a look at it in a bit more detail. I'm, you can see me drawing it here. And what I'm going to do is, all I'm doing there is I'm going over my sketch of, of, the, of the, um, the, the blocking out of the shapes. So that pretty much gives you a, a good indication of what we call the topology. So it might not be like this in Nomad once we work it because the topology is what it will be when it's ready for animation. So nice and clean polygons flowing around the body. But what this does is it helps you understand the thing you've drawn or the cartoon you're referencing, how it would really translate to 3D. And if you don't kind of if you don't get this sort of stuff, it makes it harder for you to do it in 3D. And remember, you can just go into 3D. You could just start making these shapes over the top of the Roger Rabbit image off, off the internet. But if you get into the habit of just quickly sketching your idea and working everything out, it can really help you understand things in three dimensions before you ever hit three dimensions. So not essential, but it's just the way I like to work. I've done it for such a long time now, it's, it's second nature. So let's just switch back to Procreate and we'll have a look at this a little bit more fleshed out. So now you can see I've really, I've really gone to town with it because I've started to bring out the primary uh, primitives. So I'm saying here, that this, this bit here is going to be the ear. And the ear now, I've decided, is going to be a tube that's made with what's called a profile. So I've worked out that if I can just draw the profile like that and then expand that across, you know, uh, uh, or, or extrude it down a tube, um, which, you know, that's how the, the, the tube works in Nomad. It's, it, it's very, very simple. Then I basically can just do this and just, you know, basically extrude a tube like that and this profile bit is super easy to set because it's four points so that then solves how i want to do the ears and we'll look at that once we get to the modeling um you know the hand is just this cube and a couple of spheres and the fingers can be you know either spheres or 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 tubes or cylinders basic cylinders arm is cylinders head as i've already said is just uh, tubes the uh the, the bits that attaches you know the front of his dungarees that again is just going to be a square profile like this and just made as part of a tube so tube here uh the feet will be as i said just cylinders like this and then I, all i will do is i'll just extend them out that way so that they become like this and then i'll round them off so i've worked that one out as well um the uh Coming around here, obviously his, you know, his buttons are just cylinders squashed. Tube quite clearly for the body. You can see it, you know, you can see it here. It's really a simple tube for that for that body and kicking over to the side for that weighting. Um, and then one or two little bits of complexity. So like this spiky bit here, that I'm going to cut out of a plane like that, or, or a cube, should I say. So that will be a cube, something like that. I'm drawing it quite roughly. But what I'll do is by using the trim tool, I'll get rid of that that and then i'll just you know use the trim tool there and what's left here is what will become that piece so you know that's really badly done really roughly done but that that piece there would give me a 3d piece like that and then i can sculpt on that and that's how i'd work it out i don't spend a huge amount of time um but the fact that i've worked it out like this um really helps me to get ready for my next part which is when i'll do the block out 
Thanks for watching the video, and if you did like it, then please give us a thumbs up, because it does help us to get in front of other people who like this kind of content. And if we get the thumbs up, then why not subscribe down below, and you can then help us carry on building this channel. Lots coming on the channel in 2024, with lots of different software this year, and Nomad has grown significantly since we did the last batch of videos. So there's a lot of really cool stuff coming in the near future, so hoping to see you on my videos.